Hi. I'm doing 35, 36, and 37. Give, give me a second. First of all, I did 35, and uh, I wrote it out this way. The distance between, uh, gosh, I, I like this notation where I say P1 is a point. So P1 defined by the order triple one, one, one. And P2 is the order triple three, three, zero. Okay, I can't get used to not writing that equal sign in between like your book does. It just puts the P2 right next to this thing. That makes me feel like P2 is a, a function of three variables and you can put three things in there. It's not. I, I don't understand this notation. I'll have to uh, fly out and meet with the authors at some point. Maybe uh, fight them over this. At any rate, the distance between these two points is now... Uh, Okay, so you could use this notation. We're not going to use this notation very much, but uh, you put uh, P1 next to P2, and then you put some lines around it. Uh, not a common notation. Uh, notice I don't use it at all in 36, so I'm just trying to be a little bit more concise in 36. Uh, okay, so anyway, the distance between two points is, by definitions, the square root of the sum of the squares of the differences between the components. So... First component of P2 minus the first component of P1 squared. Difference of the second component squared. Difference of the third component squared. Fine. Uh, then I go through with this calculation, and you see that I have communicated while calculating. All right, so I, I told you. I made a factual statement. The distance between this point and this point is something equal to 3. All right. Now down here, I, I'm 36, like I said, I was just trying to be a little bit more concise. The distance between, now, there's no real reason for me within this individual exercise to give these two points names, P1 and P2. It's not like I'm referring to them so often that I need to give them a nickname. Um, in fact, I just don't refer to them again. This is the only time I refer to them. So, uh, you know, you wouldn't give the guy who checks you out at the grocery store the nickname uh, Checky if you were only going to refer to him one time in your entire life, only once in one conversation, why would you, why would you come up with this nickname, Checky? Anyway, um, since we're only referring to those objects once, we'll give them, uh, their, we'll refer to them by their descriptions, the exhaustive description. The distance between this order triple and this order triple is something equal to 5 times the square root of 2. You can go through and follow the arithmetic as you like. Now, by contrast, here in 36, I tried to get an F. I simply wrote the square root of uh, 4 minus 1 squared plus 4 minus 4 squared plus. See, here, this is bad because I didn't tell you why you are reading this. I didn't give you these kinds of words, the distance between this order triple and this order triple is. I just started writing some stuff without any context. So this is an example of doing something poorly. Right, of uh, presenting a calculation without communicating. As I've said before, communicate while you calculate. Give some context for why you're doing what you are doing. That should always be part of your practice.